All right, today what we're going to work on are called compositions of transformations. But just before we get into that, um, just a little practice at the top, a little review of reflection. So we're going to do our best to draw reflection of the given pre-image over the reflection line. So just kind of do your best to sketch a picture here as a little bit of a review. Doesn't have to be perfect, um, but what would a reflection look like? I will not lie to you, the word is a little bit hard to do. Maybe not the O's, but just a little. You guys can see I'm way off track here. But just to your best ability. A little bit of a reflection. Um, that Y doesn't look great, but that's what we were going to look for, that if I were to fold the paper in half on top of that line, that the two figures would match up to the best of our ability. All right, now, after that little practice, um, you guys, if you've got this paper, I'm not going to do all the examples on this. I'm just going to get do a couple and then allow you to practice this skill on the homework assignment. So what we're going to work on are called a composition or compositions. So I'm going to write a composition of a transformation. It's a combination of two or more transformations. And what that means is they're going to ask you maybe to do a reflection and then a translation, or they're going to ask you to do a rotation and then a reflection, or a combination of transformations that we've been talking about. So your options so far are going to be um, rotations, reflections, and translations. Now, while we're doing a composition, each transformation is performed on the image of the previous transformation. So I'll get into that, but basically as you go through, you apply not to the original figure, but to the figure you have just drawn. So I'm going to start out and just write down for you guys the original figure here. So ABC is going to be a triangle. So A is at negative 5, 0, B is at negative 1, 0, and C is at negative 4, Four. Just going to call each of these A, B, and C. Connect the dots here to make a triangle. Just going to shade it in a little bit to make it show up a little bit better. Okay, now as you read the problem, it's going to ask you to do two different transformations after you have the original figure. This one says we're going to do a rotation of 90 degrees clockwise. And remember, I will give you guys the formulas for these. And so, um, we're going to do a 90 degree clockwise rotation first. Now, 90 degrees clockwise rotation is going to take the original point and map it onto um, Y and then the opposite of X. So I'm going to just take each one of these points and go ahead and do that. So A prime is originally negative 5, 0. So the Y coordinate just becomes the X coordinate, so I don't have to do much there. Now, the x coordinate is going to become the y coordinate, but we want to do the opposite. Now, since this was negative, the opposite would actually be positive. So, b, again, the y coordinate, which is 0, and the original is just going to become the x coordinate in our rotation. The x coordinate, it's the opposite of x. So, since x was negative, this is actually going to become positive 1. And then C prime, our final point in the triangle here, um, the Y coordinate was 4, so that becomes the X coordinate in the rotated point. And the opposite of the X coordinate, which will become positive 4, will be the Y coordinate of the rotated point. And then just take a second and graph these points here. So A prime, here's B prime, and C prime. just so we can see it a little better. I'll color it in. Okay, now, after that, it says we're going to reflect over the x-axis. So I'll just grab a highlighter real quick here to remind which line we're looking at. So we're going to reflect over the x-axis. Now, the x-axis actually has the equation y equals 0 uh, in case that would come up in a problem. But x-axis, now don't reflect the original triangle. You're going to reflect this guy here that we just did. So 
performing on the previous image. Now for reflections, I just count. So B prime, one spot away, so one spot away here. Now since this is the second transformation we've done, when you label the point, this becomes B double prime. If we would do another transformation, we'd have a triple prime, for example. So here, A prime, five spots away, so come five spots away from your reflection line down here, A double prime. C, four spots away, down the same line, four spots away, C double prime. And this final triangle here would be the result after two transformations, rotated 90 degrees clockwise and then reflected over the x-axis. Okay, I'm going to do one more and then you guys can try the rest on your homework assignment. So just going to go ahead and plot the original. So 1, 2 is D, 4, 1 is I, 5, 4 is V, and 2, 5 is E, and this is going to make a square. Now, the first transformation we're going to perform here is a reflection over the y-axis. And literally, I just count. So one spot away, one spot away, two spots away, two spots away. I is four spots away, so four spots away. V, five spots away, so whoop, make sure I'm on the right line, five spots away. So this is E prime, this is D prime, up here is V prime, and this guy here is I prime. Shade that a little bit, there's my square. Now, um, the next transformation we're going to perform is a translation. So they're going to give you a vector description. The first number is going to tell you left or right. If it's positive, you're going to go to the right. So this is right 2. And the second number is how you move up or down. If it's positive, you go up. Here it's negative. So we're going to go down 6. So each point I'm going to take and shift. So here's D. I'm going to go over 1, 2, and then down one, two, three, four, five, six. And I'm just going to repeat that process. Here's E prime. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. And just repeat that for each one. Here's I, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then same thing for the V prime here. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. So here's D double prime. This is E double prime, I double prime, and V double prime. And we have now transformed the square twice. We did a reflection over the y-axis, and then we did a translation, scooching it two units to the right and six units down.